How you doing guys? This is Danny Basevich, Kid Delicious. You want to be 50-50. You don't want to be leaning forward or backwards because then your, your body's going to move. You want nothing to move except for your right arm if you're a righty or your left arm if you're a lefty. I'm a righty, so when I get down, nothing's moving. I need my legs to be 50-50. I should be able to walk up to you and shake you gently and you shouldn't fall in any direction. On top of having good balance, a lot of people tend to hold the butt of the stick, the back side of the, the stick, which this is the butt, the bottom half, guys, is they hold it too tight. You, you could hold it. Some people call this the death grip when it looks like you're squeezing it. And then other people look like they're only holding it like with one finger. But I recommend to try to hold it like that but you don't want to hold the stick any harder than you would hold like a live bird. So you ain't trying to kill that bird, but you can't let that bird go. So the stick should not slide through your hands. It should stay in one spot. It shouldn't be slipping through and you shouldn't be too tight or too loose. But like, I'd rather you be on the loose side than the tight side. You'll see, you'll get, a, you'll, you'll, you'll get your wrist involved when you need to use English because of that. And also under pressure, it seems like holding it too tight does seem to, from what I've seen from guys I've taught in the past and myself, holding it too tight seems to get in the way a little bit. All right, guys, I, I got another good tip for you here too, guys. We're gonna go over a little routine. I start off back here, I look at the white ball to the six, and the six to the pocket. And like I've said before in the past, I always aim at the pro side, which on this shot is this side, the short rail. There's two short rails and two long rails, guys. So if I ever say that in, in the future, we got, I'm gonna be aiming this six ball at the short rail, which is the pro side here. But that's not the number one thing I'm trying to teach you here, is I want you to have a routine. No matter how you stroke, you gotta make sure that when you're ready to shoot, after you lock the shot up, sight the shot while you're standing up, you wanna step back, you wanna walk into it with your front foot and get yourself down on the ball. And it's, it's, it's okay. I don't mind it if you're a fast or a slow player, but when you're ready to shoot, you got to stop at the white ball. You can take three, four, five, six practice strokes. When you're ready, you want to stop. And at this point, when you stop, this is right here. This is I call when you're locking and loading. It's like you're. It's like. It's like you're, you're shooting your pistol, you, you know, you're shooting your rifle. It's so important that you stop at the white ball right before your last shot. And then it's very important after you, you, you prep your practice strokes and you stop, that backswing's gotta be a nice, slow backswing and then shoot. It's so important, guys. I'll, I'll shoot one more. And you guys got to try this out at home. But I promise you, when you're playing good pool, or if you're not sure why your game's jumping up and down a lot, I guarantee when you're playing good pool, you're pulling your backswing a lot slower on your final stroke. I don't mind fast strokes, practice. But, but when I, after my practice, when I'm locked and loaded, you got to pull back slow and shoot. You don't have to stop when you come back here. I don't really push that. There is some great players like guys like Shannon Dalton or Buddy Hall and some other great legends of the game that do stop back here on their last stroke. 
I think you should almost stop. Very slow back and then go through that cue ball all the way. 